Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor. Do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you do have any uh, scuba diving questions, uh, then pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. I still type out an answer and some others do as well, which is quite nice. Get a nice community going. Um, so that way you do get an answer, especially if it's time sensitive, you don't have to wait for the video to come out. But today I'm answering a question from Matthew about where to store equipment during a dive. So Matthew says, adding onto a BCD, a jacket style BCD, being possible uncomfortable, I recently got my own kit along with all advised safety items, DSMB and spool, safety knife, compass, whistle, flashlight, and a GoPro plus rig. And I feel like I'm just a mess with everything being attached to my BCD. I want to streamline my setup, but I'm not sure how to best go about that whilst keeping the safety items at hand for when you might need them. Five pockets. Five pockets are your friend for storing tools and equipment. So it's not just clipped off onto a D-ring. We call that a Christmas tree diver because it's like all the baubles just hanging off of them. One of the main features that I look for in like a dry suit is thigh pockets. If it doesn't have thigh pockets, it's off my short list when I'm trying to pick a new dry suit. And with a wetsuit, or if I'm just diving in a rash vest and board shorts, you can get what are commonly named in the industry uh, tech shorts, which are just thigh pockets. They're normally neoprene shorts. So yeah, when you're trying to streamline the equipment, the best place to put it is inside of a pocket. BCD pockets I'm not a huge fan of because they're usually quite high up. And if I'm like heavily laden with equipment, th there's no way I'm reaching up to my rib cage to try and select something that I can't even see. So no, whereas in a thigh pocket, your hand naturally reaches for it and you can look down, you can find it uh, and see what's going on. It's just so much more convenient. Um, so look for pocket size. Um, typically they're almost like the size of an A4 sheet of paper. Uh, is a good size. You do get them smaller, which is fine, but of course it has to fit all of your dive equipment. Um, depending on what goes where, there's a huge debate online over what goes in which pocket. Uh, typically, a lot of my emergency things goes in my right-hand side. So backup dive mask, right-hand side, just so that if I need it or my buddy needs it, I'm, I'm right hand centric uh, is my preferred hand. So it naturally goes to the right hand side. So I can open that up, find my mask, pull it out and, uh, and give it, donate it or put my, uh, my backup mask on should I need it. Um, DSMB and spool typically again goes in my right hand side just because it, it naturally goes there along with my uh, my wet notes. Uh, left hand side is a bit more redundant stuff so either a, a, my backup DSMB um, because I do tend to bring two just in case it's just a bit of redundancy um, and other like adjacent tools but yeah it is typically in thigh pockets. One thing that you'll notice on um, tech shorts if you're diving a, a wetsuit or just in board shorts is that they have a, a pretty hefty belt system or on the inside of my ones for example they have that it's almost open cell neoprene where it's really grabby because if you're putting heavy stuff in your uh, in your shorts and or in the pockets of your shorts they're naturally going to want to fall down whereas if it's got grippy material it just holds it in position whereas with dry suits of course they're they're sewn and glued onto the actual suit some actually have a um they like attach the thigh pocket onto the uh, the shoulder um like braces to to hold them up but um but yeah thigh pockets otherwise yeah you really are clipping things off um if you have a, um, a butt D-ring, which is just like in the small of your back, that's quite a convenient place. A lot of divers put their spool and a DSMB kind of tucked up into like the small of their back. Um, but if you don't have an attachment point there, don't worry too much about that. Um, but as far as like knives, knives somewhere convenient, somewhere you can get to it. Um, a lot of divers dive with multiple knives. So a lot of them typically have one that's attached onto their wrist mounted computer. 
Uh, it's usually like a Z knife, like a, uh, a trilobite easy cut, um, just a, a line cutter. So it's really quick and easy. Chances are you're gonna be able to reach your dive computer uh, and then one on your hip right hand hip because you can reach it with both hands. You kind of have to imagine what if my, my right hand is tangled up in some fishing line and I can't reach it for whatever reason. I need to be able to reach one of my knives with my left hand. So if it's on my right hand hip, I can still grab hold of it. If it's on my dive computer, now I can't grab hold of it. So try and, try and think about somewhere that you can reach it with, with both hands conveniently. Um, yeah, DSMB compass, yeah, normally like just attached onto my wrist. I do quite like a, an analog dive compass um, or attached onto the back of your hand. I've seen some divers do that, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's still, you can still use the hand, but it's attached onto the, uh, onto the back of their palm. Um, uh, what else were we mentioning? GoPro and rig wouldn't classify that as safety equipment, but yeah, you do need somewhere to uh, to store it. Um, and on the inside of a lot of pockets, you'll find anchor points like a D-ring or a bungee loop. Not the end of the world if it doesn't come with them, because in a lot of cases you can fit them. You just get some some bungee loop and uh, and poke them through a hole and tie a knot on either side so it can't fall out. Uh, most pockets have some kind of drainage point so that you don't come out of the water and you've got two liters of water on each hip. But you can use that anchor point to yeah, poke some, um, uh, some bungee through, tie a knot on either side, and then you can have something to, to clip a bolt snap off onto it. Um, otherwise, think about the, uh, the closure some pockets have a, a zippered closure, which is okay. It's really strong and secure. Stuff's not gonna fall out. However, it's in experience, it can be quite tough to undo and do it back up. So say so you need to get something like you, your spare mask out of it, you have to undo it. And they're typically made out of neoprene, which does bend and pull and stretch a little bit. So it can be quite hard to, to undo that zipper you get it out, you donate your mask, you do whatever it is, send up a, a DSMB, you wanna close that pocket, now you're pulling it against, and it's just, if you think about like doing up a coat, it's quite hard to, uh, to get a zipper just one-handed, so then you have to use two hands to try and zipper it back up. So I'm more of an advocate for Velcro pockets because as soon as you let go of the flap, it just falls down and it naturally seals itself. Um, and even if it doesn't seal perfectly, you still have those anchor points on the inside. So if anything's inside of the pocket and it falls out, it's still attached onto the anchor point, so it's not going anywhere. And then I can just correct it. Um, but yeah, thigh pockets uh, are, are the way forwards. Um, and there, there are tons out there. My ones, I use the, uh, the fourth element. I think they are just called technical shorts. Um, but I've, I've used quite a few. I used the Apex ones before, they're okay. Um, there are um, there are tons of designs out there, but it's just a matter of what you can get your hands on and um, what's convenient for you. But yeah, as opposed to clipping things off onto D-rings, yeah, no, you, you kind of want minimal over your chest because as soon as you go horizontal, it all just <laughs> dangles downwards. And, uh, and yeah, it just creates all this extra drag and snag points, flappy snag hazards. So, um, yeah, yeah, just pockets. Pockets really are your friends. And the most convenient ones, in my experience, are thigh pockets. Either in a dry suit, you can get some wetsuits, some waterproof and Mara's wetsuits, and probably some others, uh, obviously. Uh, do have thigh pockets, but it's usually one, usually on the right-hand side. Uh, but nowadays, we just get tech shorts uh, that just go over the wetsuit, and they've got pockets on either side. Yeah, tech shorts weren't a huge thing when I uh, when I first started to uh, dive and were teaching, but I think my my first dry suit that had thigh pockets in it, you're like, oh wow, that's so convenient just to be able to reach things without having to uh, kind of bend and flex because your arms don't really bend, and and the zipper on most like jacket style BCDs are, are really quite high up and it's not the most convenient. It also limits how much the BCD can inflate or how much it's gonna push into your rib cage when it's inflated, because you've got all this stuff in the pockets, the bladder's underneath it. There's no 
extra space unless it's like a, a Mares Quantum BCD that does have stretchy pockets. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's just so much more convenient just to have thigh pockets. And uh, yeah, I've got them on my dry suit. They come fitted in my dry suit. And then if I'm not in my dry suit, I'm wearing my uh, my tech shorts and it, it just makes your life so much more convenient. Um, but good question. Um, and an important question when you're when you're first learning to dive and first starting to dive, where do you put all of this extra stuff that you're supposed to bring with you, uh, like like mirrors and whistles and torches and all that kind of stuff? You're supposed to bring it all, um, but yeah, where where do you put it? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good important question. But if you have any important questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use that Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.